hey guys welcome back and to all my new people hey y'all in today's video we're going to do a loft area refresh i have a family room i have a formal and this is my loft area that we use as a movie area so we're going to paint the doors black the stair railing black and just add a few accessories and wall art i hope you guys like it Okay guys, so the hubby is painting the closet door that contains the hot water heater, I wanna say. This door was a pain in the butt to say the least. It probably took him an hour, if not a little over an hour to get in each crack and crevicent and things like that. If anyone ever tells you that doors are easy to paint, don't believe them. So here I just had KJ sanding the railings to make it smooth for the paint to go on. This is a be a mom. Damn, why do y'all don't call dad's name? Mom. Easy about the thing. No, easy about the. Listen, mom. So, so, so why do you say easy? How many of these do we have? Yeah, what? No, regardless if it's my target or not, he's still gonna be like, mom, how many of these do we have? Easy, mom, right mom, here. You easy, how many of these do we have? Literally yeah. everything that happens, mom, you are at the head of it. Like, mom, you coordinate everything. Everything that we do and anybody does goes through you. So you really go, like, why go to easy? Because it's mine. Anytime I go to easy, Okay, but he's my manager. Mom. The manager knows. And y'all see what I go through. The kids call my name 24 seven, no matter if my husband is around or not, he can be sitting on top of my lap and they're gonna say, mom, mom, mom. But anyway, y'all, this door was a headache as well. I was probably on these two doors. Um, for about an hour and I was over painting at that time. I, would, I just couldn't believe how hard it was to paint a door. A door guys, a door. I'm still painting, I'm still here. He's still painting the same door. No exaggeration. I thought this was gonna be a simple one too, but needless to say, it did take us two days to complete. And I was hoping to kind of be done with this project in one day. I actually thought it was only gonna take a few hours to be honest. So I started painting the railing with the paintbrush, but it seemed like it was taking a really long time. I kind of uh, swapped back and forth between the brush and the roller, just because as you see with the paintbrush, I use that to get in the cracks. There's a lot of detail when it comes to woodwork, which I believe is why the doors took so long as well. Um, there's just a lot of intricate details, cracks, crevices, corners that you really have to get. No limit, baby. Can you get that black car? No limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. No limit. It's curtain time. Okay, y'all. I used to hate curtains because I was just young and didn't know any better, but curtains complete a room. It makes it look so great. Um, the length does matter. Anything above the baseboard is too short. It looks like a pair of flooding pants. I don't use curtains to hide the light. I will if I have to, but I mainly use curtains for decor, which is why I keep them open. My husband was under the illusion that we close them and you're gonna see him close the curtains and I'm gonna show you a photo of how it looks closed and you will see why closing curtains is a big no-no. It's just ugly and tacky, sorry. Baby. 
once again for the people in the back that is just my opinion it is not law i just do not like my curtains closed i also need a steamer because the wrinkles are tacky as well okay it's picture time now this will be the first time in a really long time that i am hanging up family photos in my house i typically don't like family pictures hanging on my walls just because i feel like it can look a bit cluttered and not really go with the decor my favorite part is to chop the pillow don't ask me why but i love a good chop this wall the wall is so huge y'all that it has just been a headache to find a piece that will fit right there either i needed multiple smaller pieces to make it look like one big abstract piece or i needed an oversized piece as you all see this wall art is huge and it fit perfect with the space so if you all are wondering how we hang everything so precise you will see my husband with his handy danding leveler okay he uses that thing for everything i used to get mad and say oh my god why does it take us so long nope i hate a crooked picture i hate a crooked anything that gets the job done So for this sitting area right here, I just played around with different looks. Um, I didn't really like that white vase right there, which I had just purchased. So I kind of went around my house, got some stuff from the dining room table, some things from my computer area, and just mixed and matched and put together some things to see what I liked or didn't like. Um, everything won't always look right the first time that you do it. So that's the great part about it being my home. I can just play around with different looks until I see what I like. So this is just a quick reminder of what the upstairs look like before the refresh. I'm gonna test this out right quick on the app. Now keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. So the ottoman was looking a little plain, so I added the tray and accessories. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.